Today I'll show you a new historic brawl deck that is Total Chaos, a pretty popular deck in Commander, specifically popular among people without any friends. This is Horobi and this is dedicated to Thea SK. Horobi is a 4 mana 4 4 spirit that has flying, but most importantly an ability that says, whenever a creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, destroy that creature. So that means that anytime anyone targets any creature with anything, that creature is dead. But wait a second Brasso, aren't we also affected by that? Well of course, but we are prepared to take advantage of this ability and break the symmetry of the card. But Brasso, how can we do that? Well, with cards like this. Pacification Array is a nice one mana artifact that you can pay two to tap a creature or artifact. Well, in our deck, it becomes a repeated go for the throat we have access to permanently. Liquid Metal Coating is essentially a free removal spell and a stick, the same as Cattle Mod, a mana rock that taps to destroy creatures. Pretty good, right? Do you know Tatsimok, this card that is not very good? Well, in our deck, it's insanely good it's a repeated one mana removal spell from our hand that we can use as many times as we can in our turn just amazing stuff we also have ifner deadlands plaza of heroes and tyrant sanctum that can target creatures so they become removal spells too and these are lands then we have one time shots a bunch of cheap targeted spells that normally are really bad but in our deck are all sorts to plowshares we do run some real removal spells and we also have some nice payoffs with so many creatures dying we can drain our opponents with many blood artist effects. We have runs, Siloport Cutthroats, another blood artist, Falcon Run Noble, and Sir Conrad. Not only we blow up everything, we also kill the opponent in the process. That's the core of the deck and the main synergy lines with Horobi. The rest of the deck are value creatures, ways to draw cards and keep finding action, reanimation to bring Horobi or any other creature back from the graveyard, disruption spells, mana rocks, and so on. You can check the deck list in the description down below. As expected, this deck is a nightmare versus heavy creature decks, but struggles versus control. Still, you can put up good fights with Liliana's Invoke Despairs and Shield Reds. Customize the list to how you see the metagame flow over time and you'll be fine. And now, let's go see the deck in action. What's up everyone, welcome back one more time. You know the deal, we play Historic Brawl, and this time we are running Horobi, Death's Whale, a deck prepared by the evil mind of Thea SK. A little, little changes, but overall... The same idea, Horobi just makes every targeted targeted ability or spell to a creature directly become a removal spell, so quite an interesting command. We're playing versus Katilda and Lear, another new commander from the recent set, and we have played just Pacific Engine Array and an Ecologist Terrarium, which is pretty nice, because here allows us to find our Swamp, which is welcome, but... Ecologist Terrarium is also a targeted ability that we can use on our opponent's creatures if we need to remove them. The same as this card, If Near Deadlands, which is already a removal spell that we can use to target creatures from our opponent, but in our case with Horovi, it directly becomes a removal spell, not just a minus two, minus two. So I guess we. Don't just play Horobi. Because if they end up and kill Horobi, it's so bad. Might here play the Dread Presence? Yeah, I think, I think what I want to do is just I want to play Dread Presence now. Maybe they will, re they will remove the Presence. And then we play Horobi when we have a one mana spell that we can use so we get some value from playing Horobi. Otherwise we just run Horobi and they just remove it. Katilda and Lear, so humans and instants and sorceries, that's a nice new commander to try. And another new card in Inga and Azika. You know what? I think I'm going to accept this trade. Yeah, I think I, I will, I'm going to accept it. Because now we untap and we kill Inga and we send them back into oblivion, right? Like Horobi. Here we go. Let's see how good Horobi is in Historic Brawl. And we can use a disfigure, a removal spell that becomes a fatal push or a cut down in this case. Whatever one mana removal spell that in conditional that is in conditional. Yeah, really nice. That's so good. I hope that yeah will be happy seeing this one. Just going to be one game, but trying to keep these videos short to the point, just show you good de 
deck text show you a good game and then move on to other commanders and now here we don't have any targets for our removals but we can use blood artists and you know we have pacification array the terrarium so as soon as our opponent plays something just one thing as we attack for four you're going to keep it up keep it off the board let's just hope that they don't have ways to kind of take advantage of the Horobi trigger for themselves as they are going to make a creature with BBN all right so uh, let's start using the machine gun here the pacification array wow this artifact becomes so good with Horobi and you can see our synergies having our our interaction piece I mean our synergistic pieces blood artist France so every time that we remove something we are not just being obnoxious we're also draining them and winning the game we take down vivian and we can tutor for something what can we tutor for we have so many options big shield it might be great if they start killing our stuff then we can get them back let's get big shield red and just pass if they kill horobi maybe we let it, let it go to them to the graveyard, reanimated. That's another way that this deck works. Kind of resilient. Wow. So, Oraska, the land is quite. E it's funny. If we attack, I mean, maybe they don't know. Let's attack. Oh, they used. <laughs> Alright, so they're going to destroy Horobi. They used an instant. They have their, their Oraska. If they know that they can use that to remove our creatures, then they would have used it. But sometimes... Oh, they will? Uh, I thought they were not going to realize. Well, they were going to use it nevertheless. So... Yeah, that's that. That was not going to happen. But, ah, but Horobi's of the... <laughs> nice. Horobi's of the field, so it didn't work. If they had used their Oraska before killing Horobi, then they would have killed Bran too. Those are the things that you have to take into consideration when you're running this deck. Because these little effects can get you. Now we have Shiora, and then we start the reanimation. I mean, we could bring the Dread Presence first. And... Thought sees them. I mean, so what do we take? Sigarda, Slayer's Plate, that's not very good. Distant Melody, that's going to draw creatures. Maybe, no, I should have brought Horobi. Well, we can bring it next turn. We are not in a rush. Sigarda is good, but we can kill it. Melody refills their hand, which is actually not good for us. So we take that. Attacking now, it's kind of bad because they have the Oraska. They can remove from combat our creatures. We could use the Pacification Array just as a tapper. We could use also the Ecologist Terrarium to put some counters on our creatures. Maybe make a bigger... bigger Vran? Because we have targeted. When we recover the Horobi, we will have the Deadlands. We could use the Deadlands, the Deadlands to remove some creatures as well. We have options here. Let's grow the Vran. So we are kind of going in a different line from what this deck is supposed to be doing. But nevertheless, then we can kill here the Catilda gains them life so we sacrifice the dead lands drain them so we are prepared to win without Horobi and now we have a kind of a good attack as if they well they they can bounce one of our creatures or remove it from combat but they have to take three and then they had to sack here and then we drain them yeah the deck is working should have brought the Horobi back from the graveyard before the Dread Presence, but it's going to work regardless of that. Because I think that they have just some creatures. Yeah, they can put this into the Maha and then 
play their plates, winning some life temporarily. But now we can reanimate Horobi, find another creature. Okay, so now we have to take in consideration the fact that they can remove, they can kill any creature with the with their lamb. We can kill their things too. So I guess I want to get rid of Maha. Any land gives them creatures. Yeah, they will have to sacrifice, but they can activate Castle Ardenvale on their upkeep to not have to sacrifice the Maha. So we might as well do it right now. And then we attack. So I don't mind if they kill our creatures here, thanks to the Horobi trigger, because every every turn we bring back one of them from the graveyard because of Sheoldred. So long we don't attack with Sheoldred, we're going to be fine. So the, these are the things when you play with Horobi that, like, the opponent can get you, <laughs> for sure can get you. But I think that we got them. Wow, Horobi working really nicely. A very difficult to pilot deck, but. We, I think we are getting there. Oh, yeah, an opponent. Scoops. Yeah, nice. All right. Well, this is what you can do with this deck. So hopefully you enjoyed the insanity and the sadistic Horobi. So yeah, go ahead and try it and tell me in the comments down below. We will see each other on a future video.